Hello everyone, it's me, Kvidas. In this tutorial, I want to show you how to implement very simple JavaScript form validation. So let's get started. Let's create index.html file and insert exclamation mark, press tab, and now Visual Studio generate the default HTML template. Let's change the title to form validation. And in the body, we're gonna need form element. Of course, action would be to the same index HTML file and method get. So let's insert h1 element with the text of login. We're gonna need as well input element. Let's give it ID of the username. The type will be text. Let's give it a name of username again. And placeholder username. Let's close the input tag. Let's copy paste it for the password element. Here, password, name the same password with a capital P and of course type can be password as well let's insert the button of the submit so type will be submit and the value will be submit we're gonna need to show the error messages so let's insert p element and let's give it ID of error message let's make it hidden now and it will hide any text now. We're gonna need the link to our style sheet since we're gonna make some styling on this awful looking form now. So URL style sheet and href it's style CSS. Let's correct small mistype style sheet and let's see how it looks now. Oh my god, it looks awful, guys. We need to create the style sheet file. So style here, CSS, and let's put some styling on that stuff. So body, display, flex, then justify content, center. Let's make it center, align item center. So now it will be in the middle and in the center of the page. We're gonna need height of VH and look, it's much better now. Next, we don't need this one, let's close it. We need background background it will be what gray maybe gray and font family of course this one sans serif good now form background rgb let's make it kind of gray light gray so it will be 214 214 yep adding of 30 pixels next text to line will be center as well let's make border radius of 15 pixels and width of 350 pixels cool let's style other elements and now it will be form input let's give a display the block background will be none then we need of course margin of 18 pixels and auto then padding of 8 pixels what else what else do we need we need text line center then let's give it a border of 2 pixels solid and the same color as longer <laughs> 40 90 db it will be kind of bluish yep now outline let's make it none width 180 pixels font size let's make it 22 pixels just to see more clearer border radius 10 pixels now let's style form input with the type of that input is submit so submit button okay and let's make cursor pointer what is going on here okay font size of what 16 pixels font weight let's make it 800 and the background the same as here and color white cool 
And the last one is the error message, which is P element. So the color will be red. Font size will be 22 pixels. And font weight will be 600. So that's it with the styling. Now let's check one attribute of the input element, which is called required. And if we insert it here and in the password element, let's save it and check it. If nothing is written in the username and password inputs, let's submit. And we're going to see this nice error message. Please fill out this field. So that's what required attribute does. It's time for JavaScript, fellas. Let's create JavaScript file here. Let's call it script.js. Let's include it in our HTML file. Script, and it will be defer, which will load after the body is loaded. Source, script.js. And let's close it. Let's go to the script file. Actually, let's move it here so we could see what is going on. Let's create few variables which will link to the HTML elements. We're going to use const since the variables want to change and it's only a reference to the elements. Document get element by ID, which will help to find element with the ID of user name. Same for password. Here and here. Few more variables. So const form, and this time we're gonna use query selector, which will help to find form element. And we're gonna need as well error message element. So here it goes. Let's make it a little bit wider. Good. And now let's listen for the event of submit of the form. Here's some syntax. And what we're going to do here, let's create array of errors. We are using const as well here, even though errors are going to change in the future since we're going to add some messages here. But const is only a reference to a value, so you can use it for the arrays, objects, and regular expressions as well. So if we have any errors, we're going to check if our array length is greater than zero, we're going to prevent the fault of the submit form. So submit button won't work. Then for the error message, we're going to toggle attribute hidden, which is here, as you remember. And we're going to put the text of errors array and join it by the comma and the space. So now let's move this file to the side since we're gonna check what we are writing. Let's check if anyone wants to insert only spaces for the username and it's not allowed of course. So what's gonna help us? Trim gonna help us to remove all the inserted spaces here. So let's push to the errors array value of user name required let's check it space 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 some password submit username required great it's working now let's check password input so if password value length is less than zero we're gonna push to the errors array message password must be at least four characters. Let's check it. Some name and three characters. Password must be at least four characters. Great. One more check. The length more than 10 must be less than 10 characters. Let's check it as well. Let's insert a lot of characters. Password must be at uh, be less than 10 characters. Great, it's working. So congratulations, guys, you made it. Please don't forget to subscribe. You're going to help me a lot. And check my other videos and don't give up. Code, code, code. See you soon.